top 10 isekai anime where MC Overpowered is transferred to a magic school 2022. The most powerful MC in all of anime is about to transfer to magic school for his galactic education who wants to learn the very limits of power. So, what happens when an overpowered transfer student meets a magician? The result can be awesome. If you love the combination of magic and school, check out this top 10 best isekai anime where MC is transferred to a magic school. So here are the top 10 isekai anime that take place at a magic school and feature an overpowered transfer student. So before we begin, be sure to subscribe and like our video for more top 10s. Starting off with our number 10, Wise Man's Grandchild. Good but not great. Overall enjoyable. In the kingdom of Earlshide, Merlin Walford was once regarded as a national hero, held for both his power and achievements. Preferring a quiet life, however, he secludes himself deep in the rural woods, dedicating his time to raising an orphan that he saved. This orphan is Shin a normal salary man in modern-day Japan who was reincarnated into Merlin's world while still retaining his past memories. As the years pass, Shin displays unparalleled talent in both magic casting and martial arts, much to Merlin's constant amazement. On his 15th birthday, however, it becomes apparent that Shin only developed his combat skills and nothing else, leaving him with blatant social awkwardness, a lack of common sense, and a middling sense of responsibility. As a result, Shin enrolls in the kingdom's magic academy to hone his skills and measure among other teenagers. However, living a normal life is impossible, as he established as a local celebrity almost as soon as he arrives. Kenja Nomago follows Shin Walford's high school life in the capital as he makes new friends, learns about the world, and fights off the various forces of evil surrounding him and his city. Number 9. Spare Me Great Lord As the superpower awoke, everyone a sparing no effort to cultivate. Lu Xu was the only one who could get stronger by collecting others' negative feelings and calling people names. All he ever wanted was to protect his little sister, but no one could resist the trend of the world. Well, he'd just do what he had to do and thus become the strongest. Are you ready to welcome the super demon Lu Xu? I would say good artwork. The opening part of the anime is crazily good. The money spent on it must have been mad. The artwork of it is great. Number 8. High school prodigy have it easy even in another world. Saving Japanese high school students enjoy international renown for their remarkable talents. One day, these friends survive a plane crash only to find themselves in the medieval fantasy world of Frejagard, where two human races live side by side in a feudal society. The Buma, who have animal features and formidable strength, and the Yuma, who have a small chance of magical aptitude. After being rescued by the Buma Winona and her adopted 11 daughter, Lyrul, the group pledges to use their advanced skills and knowledge to pay back the people of Elm Village for their hospitality and find a way to return back home. Number 7. The Fruit of Evolution Saichi Hiragi is at the bottom of his school's social picking order. But one day, he and his entire school were upended when everyone in the school is transported into another world. Saichi finds himself alone and approached by a gorilla, who instead of attacking him, proposes to him. At the moment that Saichi thinks that I guess a gorilla is fine too, they find the fruit of evolution. And when they eat it, their lives are suddenly changed once again. It was light, simple, cheesy, and fun. I'm glad that I found it and I recommend it as a time killer. Number 6. Kwanzi Fashi Mufan has found himself in a universe similar yet distinctly different from his own mundane one. It's a place where magic has replaced the essence of science, where the most capable students are taught to master the wonders of spell working to fend off large devastating bees that lurk in the forest surrounding the city. Like his previous life, Mufan remains the son of a poor laborer and the older stepbrother to a crippled sister. 
Despite these disadvantages, he dreams of attending a magic school to become a magician, a highly respected and lucrative trade, in order to repay his father for his hard work. Mofon is accepted into a renowned magic institution. However, rumors spread about his poverty and lack of magical ability, labeling him as the laughing stock of the school. Nonetheless, Mofan manages to harness not only the powerful fire element but also a rare lighting element. Now armed with dual abilities, what dangerous encounters will the versatile mage face? Moving on to number 5. The Sakai Cheat Magician Nishimura Taichi is a typical, average high schooler and Azuma Rin is a beautiful woman with the build of a model and excellent reflexes. The two live a normal high school life, until one day they are suddenly enveloped in a mysterious magic circle and transported to an unknown land. That world is full of terrifying monsters, beastmen, dwarves, elves and many other races right out of fantasy. In order to survive in this new world, Taichi and Rin decide to become adventurers. But when they take the aptitude test, they discover they both possess cheat level magic. This show has some really great parts that make it a solid 6 out of 10. But there are far too many problems with animation, story decisions, and character development that cause it to fail completely. Number 4. Magical Warfare Takeshi Nanase is an ordinary high school boy who has a somewhat dark past. However, one day, he comes across a girl named Mui Aiba in a uniform he has never seen before, collapses on the school campus. This encounter changes Takeshi's destiny completely. Mui tells Takeshi that she is a magician and she apologizes for she turned Takeshi into a magician too. What Takeshi once knew as one world is actually who the world where magicians live and the world where humans live. Enemy was good to watch but there is no real end. Everything is too open. Some parts are hard to understand. I love the characters very much. They are the only reason why I watch the whole anime. Fighting scenes are done very well. Do not watch episode 12 of this anime if you want a satisfied ending. Number 3. The strongest says with the weakest crest. At birth, mages randomly acquire one of the four crests that represents the extent of their magical capability. Equipped with a crest specializing in creation, a man named Gaius reached the ceiling of his potential, becoming known as the world's strongest says. Despite his overwhelming power, he is unsatisfied with his abilities and desires to possess the mark suitable for close combat. Knowing that a person's crest is unchangeable, Gaius decides to reincarnate far into the future, hoping to alter his fate. Thousands of years later, Gaius is reborn as Matthias Hildesheimer, successfully obtaining his long-coveted crest. However, he is surprised to learn that in these times, magic has vastly won, and the techniques that were once widely used are now nothing more than just a speck of legend. Moreover, the crest that he painstakingly strived to attain is now considered the weakest, merely dubbed the crest of failure. Just think of this as a mood refreshing anime with a lot of cliche moments. Number 2. Knights and Magic Tsubasa Kurota, an otaku from modern Japan, is reborn in the Fremi Villa Kingdom, a medieval world where powerful mechs called Silot Knights are used to fight horrific demonic beasts. Born into a noble family under the name of Ernesti Echevaria and bestowed with prodigious magical abilities, he enrolls into Royal Lahela Academy. The school of magic trains young men and women on how to pilot the Silot Knights, prepping them to protect the kingdom from threats, both demonic and human. Ernesti teams up with the twins named Adeltrad and Arcade Alter with the goal to create his own Silot Knight one day a feat unheard of for several centuries. And finally, number 1. The Greatest Lord is reborn as a typical nobody. It is only slightly better than a few isekai anime in terms of storytelling. The greatest demon lord in all of history, Varvatos, has reigned for several millennia as an absolute ruler. Now, there is only one thing left for him to do enjoy the life of an average commoner. When he is reincarnated as a villager in a nondescript town, 
Everything seems to be going as he hoped, but there is just one slight problem. Even when he holds back, Varvatos is still too strong. Soon, rumors about him spread and he is approached by all sorts of men, women and asylums. The quiet life he has always dreamed of seems far away indeed. Overall, it's a time killer show that's for sure and if you like this kind of MC, then enjoy your show. Well, this was it for today's list and the video. But before ending, if you really did enjoy our today's video, make sure you drop a like and also make sure that you are subscribed to us. And leave that notification bell set to ringing so you won't miss out any of our future updates. You can always leave your views and suggestions down in the comment section. Till the next one, see ya and peace out.